Hello, people. Good mornings. It's eggnog season and the steam deck. <laughs> What's up, people? Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work, health and strength is good or excellent. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion was good, Steam Deck Mob was happening, Steam Deck Squad was up, and you Steam Deck nerds, geeks, and freaks, and you investigators with your Bazite operating system. <laughs> 32 gigs of RAM. Alright. Investigators, that is. What's up with it? Alright, and you Linux desktop gamers, man, and laptop. <laughs> What's up with it? Sitting there messing around here with the Steam Deck, drinking on a cup of eggnog. Oh, yeah. It's eggnog season. Mm hmm. Yeah. Steam Deck's a bad handheld. Alright, for you Lutris lovers, I got something for you. I've got a nice little, nice little Lutris update for you. So especially for you Linux gamers. Lutris. Then there's a um a K a K Buntu update with a KDE plasma um KDE plasma involved. Listen to this. Uh let's see if I can find it. it says uh K KDE uh no K Buntu 22.4 LTS users can upgrade to KDE Plasma 5.27 Yep. It says here, uh, let's see if I can get this article going here, since you're messing around here. <laughs> All right, let me stop playing. It says here, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, KDE Plasma 5.27 is available now for users of Kbuntu. You know, Kbuntu, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. You know the Ubuntu family. <laughs> yeah. This is a. Uh, 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 for Kbuntu 22.4 LTS to upgrade if they want to. Kbuntu 22.4 LTS ships with KDE Plasma 5.24. That is a solid release that works well for most folks, but it does lack a few of the fancier flourish flourishes and refinements found in in more recent versions of, of the desktop. Now, no one needs to miss out Developers working on the popular Ubuntu flavor have packaged KDE uh, Plasma 5.27 into a backport extra PPA. This makes it easy to upgrade to KDE Plasma 5.27 on Kbuntu 22.4 LTS. Says uh, we have many requ uh, requests <laughs> to make uh, Plasma 5.27 available in our backport PPA for Jammy Jellyfish 22.4. However, for technical reasons, this would have taken up, this would have broken upgrades to Kinetics 22.10. While that upgrade path exists, they explain in a blog post. It says here, because support for Ubuntu 22.10 has ended, please don't say that news to you. <laughs> the roadblock been removed and this plasma upgrade made possible. It was previously possible to upgrade to KDE 5.25 from the same PPA, FYI. It says, uh, the backport extra PPA is best used in conjunction with the regular Kbuntu backport PPA, but devs say it will work standalone too. You should be aware that these PPA may include updates to KDE apps and frameworks too. So do review proposed updates before you install them. Given that Kbuntu 22.4 LTS is a long-term support release, focus on stability, it's also worth my mentioning that package install from outside of the main Ubuntu repo may lack the same level of quality assurance and testing as things within it. Caveat aside, to add the PPA upgrade, to KDE Plasma 5.27 on Kbuntu 22.4 LTS only. Run the following command in the console. And console, the console tribunal should take Linux to court or, and, hit, and hit him with a DMCA. Because console is C-O-N-S-O-L-E 
but Linux spelled console K O N S O L E. But anyway, I'm, I'm messing around here. Look, here's the command for all you pseudo lovers sudo adds space apt space repository ppa colon kbuntu space ppa slash backports with a s space extra and then run uh su then run another sudo command again sudo uh, sp uh, space apt space full and then upgrade all right this says uh <laughs> this says check over the proposed check over the proposed uh, changes then hit y to proceed it says the upgrade itself makes a few then it says in parentheses long on a slow connection and you should reboot your system once the upgrade completes to ensure that everything clicks clinks into the place uh correctly <laughs> it says once the system is back up, you can log on into it to enjoy all the neat new features in KDE Plasma 5.27, as well as many as many of the changes introduced in the 5.25 and 5.26 released prior to that, including auto auto accent colors, floating uh, panel option, 1.1 uh, touch gestures. Set animation image as wallpaper, new timer widget, resizable panel pop-ups, UPS, uh, uh, compact mode in kickoff app menu, flat pack permission accessible from system settings, major multiple monitor improvements, quick uh, tiling features, improved battery monitor, K runner can suggest web searches, uh, plus plenty more beside plenty more besides. And that is Kbuntu, uh, and that's for, that's for our KDE uh, Plasma 5.27 in a nutshell. Yeah. And I will leave that article link in the description box. Now, for you Lutris lovers, got a nice little update for you. You should love this one. <laughs> for all you Lutris lovers on, on Linux, you know, we talking video games here. All right, listen to this. Got this from... Um, from our, from our Pharonix. See if I can get this little pop-up out of the way here. They keep they keep showing up on my on, on my computer for some reason. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, uh, here, here's here's what's happening with uh, uh, Lutris. Okay, you got a nice little update. 0 0.5.14 release for better managing your games on Linux. Okay, all right. It says your uh, Lutris 0 0.5.14 is out today. As the newest feature updates to this Python written open source solution for managing your games on Linux, whether they be native title or via Steam Play, Wine, as well as integrating into popular game service like Steam, GOG, Humble Bundle, and EA App. With Lutris 0.5.14, the centralized Linux game launcher has picked up some additional capabilities. Says the Lut the Lutris 0.5.14 updates adds a Steam account switcher for handling multiple Steam accounts on the same device. Support support for user defined tags slash categories, better DXVK slash slash VKD3D version selection. Support for using a local Scum VM <laughs> library. The ability to download WineGE updates when Lutris starts. Experimental support for Flatpak provide runner support for GameScope 3.12 compositor and various other enhancements. Yeah, yeah, Linux gamers are spoiled anyway. And it says, uh, download, uh, more download and more details on today's Lutris 0.5.14 released via GitHub. So, yeah, that's the update I got for you, you know, you Linux and you. Linux gamers and you Steam Deck fans, that's a little updates that I got. <laughs> for for I mean for now, <laughs> yeah, you got some updates now, and um, that should that 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 should uh that 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 should hold you, you know, <laughs> yeah. D deals, games, updates, yeah.
Steam Deck way. Alright, see if I got anything else here before I go. I told you that was it, right? But I forgot to tell you about gaming on Linux. Let's see what he got. <laughs> see, what, see what gaming on Linux got. If he got anything. Mm -hmm. So I do it all in one sweep. <laughs> I'm sitting here messing with you all this morning. You're like, wait a minute, that was it? You got more? Yep. All right. Ga oh, gaming on Linux got something. Listen to this. M Mosalina is pure phys physics puzzle platforming chaos. Hmm? Yeah, you, you want you wanted games, right? I, I got you covered, man. <laughs> anyway, he said, well, this is certainly an unexpected pleasure to appear. Mosalina is pure physics puzzle platform in chaos, and it's out now, along with native Linux support and great on Steam Deck. The developer said the, crea the created it has a response to all the games that are carefully designed in a way that everything fits together perfectly. Mosalina aggressively random, so level order you get is each time is random as are the items abilities it gives you to beat each level you get a list of three items each time each item has a limit amount of time you can use them the idea of the the idea of each level is just to touch the fruit or launch the fruit of the level map show and then make it back to the portal <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, says you're uh, easier done, easier said than done. This is where the chaos comes in. Some levels might not even be beatable with random generation. There's no specific solution to each puzzle. Just your attempt to beat it with whatever it decides to give you. An interesting idea. It's completely ridiculous some of the time, but actually a lot of actually a lot of fun to play through. And very unusual if you are a puzzle platform fan and uh, you're probably going to enjoy this yeah Mosalina all right now what else I got keep you Linux gamers happy here <laughs> senior messing with y'all this morning again anyway let's see what else I got uh, here's another one check out the first person dark fantasy dungeon crawler L Ludus Mort Mortis <laughs> These are some of the most strangest games I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, set in a dark fantasy timeline, versions of Roman Empire, Ludus Mortis is a dungeon crawler like the classic, but with plenty of modern touches. Now in early access with Linux support and Steam Deck playable. No official rating yet for Steam, but the developer mentioned it should be just fine. And says, uh, create your own character, choosing 14 from 14 classes. Manage, manage and de develop your Ludus Gladiator School by improving facilities, acquiring Gladiator crafting new uh, expert, uh, equipment, explore catacombs and dungeons, manage your party, changing formation equipment and skills. You can try different combinations for, vi for every different dungeon, turn-based combat, Think carefully and use your actions point wisely. Mm. Story, Rome 4th century AD. Over the last few decades, the Senate has become corrupt and has a progressively low, progressively lost power and influence, while the Emperor D Dio uh, Kelton and his army rule unchallenged outside the Eternal City. Mm. Seeking to return to a dominant position, the members of the Roman Senate decide to use necromancy to incre increase their power, creating an army of undead demons to fight against imperial soldiers. Alright, <laughs> so that's the name of the game. Lotus Mortis. <laughs> yeah, you Steam Deck fans got some of the craziest games. <laughs> Linux gamers got some of the craziest games I've ever seen. Alright, here's another one. Uh... Says Gear Gear Bits is a fast-paced mech combat indie game. Um, now on Steam, <laughs> yeah, you Steam Deck fans are getting so much games. Anyway, Gear Bits says a uh, love of mech combat. Gear Bits is a new indie release on Steam from Quack Pond Games, following on following on on from their early builds. And Ichko, the developer mentioned that it was developed 
it was no the the developer mentioned that it was in development sorry about that for two years started as they didn't find the exact type of mecha combat game they wanted to play so they made it themselves you go through 20 missions taking down enemies giving you a chance to unlock 10 different mechs yeah to run and fly around in with in with each machine having their own strength and weakness there are over 20 there are over sorry about that again 30 weapons to equip so a little some something for every type of pilot from missile launchers to massive beam cannons the steam release also just recently got a free update to add in a wave based survival mode yeah gear uh, gear bits steam yeah and steam deck <laughs> yeah it's out <clears throat> anyway all right now what else I got for you Let's see, see if I can find something else here okay blender enables Vulcan as an experimental option <laughs> and you know that and, and you know and you know the tribunal got something to say about that <laughs> says there uh, some fun new for blender fans as their work to bring up Vulcan support in the in the project has hit a big new milestone with support now enable but it's still experimental for now as noted in their development blog post Vulcan support is now available for Linux and Windows app builds why are they doing this well like a lot of other projects including game engines OpenGL is old <laughs> Vulcan is the true uh, <clears throat> Vulcan Vulcan is the true next gen of fully open graphics and it support a lot of modern features eventually pretty much everything will move over to Vulcan to take advantage of all the new stuff the blender team mentioned that for Apple devices they already support metal so they will be going all in eventually on Vulcan for Linux and Windows they gave some examples of things that could be worked on utilizing new available GPU features thanks to using modern graphics APIs and here are the features <laughs> says uh, improve <laughs> cut this light on real quick <laughs> okay improve improve the viewpoint improve improve the viewpoint performance with bug amount of geometry complex scenes Improving the quality of E E V E E E V E E by <laughs> replacing screen uh, space effects with hardware ray tracing implementation. Implementation. <laughs> Adding support for H D R I display. <laughs> Utilizing the compute power of GPUs in areas like texture painting. They need your help, as Vulcan is in heavy development. They want to ensure it runs well. So check out their status thread mm. all right leave that link in the description box all right what else i got for you little linux gamers and steam deck fans all right uh oh speaking of which minecraft <laughs> so what so what's we got all right okay begin your industrial revolution in the latest minecraft snapshot now that's minecraft life is over now that Minecraft Live is over, sorry about that, <laughs> the developers have begun pushing out preview builds ahead of the upcoming release of Minecraft 1.21. A fresh snapshot was just released with new features like the crafter block. The big new addition here with the crafter block is the ability to begin your industrial revolution in Minecraft as well. No, wait a minute. Minecraft, as you can now build up a craft automation empire thanks to its red stones yeah minecraft gets a lot of updates man lots okay crafters all right what's new says here the crafter is a new block that enable the crafting of items and blocks via redstone the crafter will eject one crafted item at a time when powered by a new redstone signal slash pulse not a continuous signal Upon receiving this new signal, the crafter will eject the recipe result from the front face. Uh, if the output result has multiple types of item, 
All the result items will be ejected together. The crafter can be oriented in any direction when placed. Crafter user interface. Uh, the crafter has a 3x3 three three interactable crafting uh, grid. <laughs> the crafter crafting grid slots are to uh, toggle Tuggable, <laughs> meaning that the player can change the behavior behavior of a slot by clicking or pressing on a slot with an empty hand. A slot that is toggled cannot hold any item and therefore cannot have items placed into it by other blocks such as uh, hopper and droppers. Unlike, unlike crafting table, the crafter display a preview of the craft items which will be Crafted and ejected on the next redstone pulse, but cannot be manually taken out by the player. Yeah, you little mind. <laughs> yeah, you got some updates, Minecraft fans on, on Linux and the Steam Deck. Anyway, says here uh, the crafter user interface is shared between all players interacting with the crafter, meaning that multiple players can interact with the crafter at the same time, similar to uh, chess and hoppers. Says crafter interaction with other blockers. The comparator signal uh, strength is zero through nine, where each non-empty or toggle slot adds one strength. Hoppers can be used to both insert and pull out items from the crafter. Droppers can be used to insert items into the crafter, moving items in from other blocks. And it says in parentheses, hoppers and droppers. Priorities filling items into slots following these rules then uh yeah you guys got some updates man <laughs> it's almost got four more to read here it says there uh, priorities uh the first empty slots from left to right tops to bottom if there are no empty slots then priority the smallest stack of the same items pick the first if there are multiple if there is a toggle slot it will be skipped the item will then be moved into the container if the item cannot be moved, it will be ejected into the world. Mm. Minecraft, there you little Steam Deck fans and Linux gamers. <laughs> yeah, you got an update. All right, now what else we got? Any more? Any more games? Okay, okay, I already covered uh, Lutris. So let's see here. Uh, hmm. Uh, let's see. What's 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 this one? Uh, uh says here. Uh, Act quick to claim these free games like Crypt, Crypt Ark, and The Evil Within. <laughs> this must be a uh, okay. Let's see, Gunhead, Evil Within, Eternal Threads, Heroic. Okay, but well, this is uh, until October 26. And this is on the uh, where is this? Let's see. Almost done here. Okay, look here. It says here, I need some free games for the weekend. Got you covered. Got you covered with a list here of some of games you can claim to keep, so you'll have no excuse for for a boring time. First, we have the 2D sci-fi shooter Crypt Arc, native Linux. That's a free to grab on Steam on Steam until October 24th, 21st, 5 p.m. UTC. It also just has a free update too, adding in easy mode and no screen shaking option. This is because the developer is about to launch their new game Gunhead next month. Over on Epic Games they are currently giving away the Evil Within and, and Eternal Threads until October 26 at 4 p.m. You can use these Heroic or Lutris to access these. Epic will also give uh, Epic will also be giving away the Evil Within and Tandem a tale of shadow after those end. Then it says if you have Amazon Prime, you can also claim some via Prime Gaming, including Doom 3, GOG, Golden Light, Epic Games, Texture, Texture, Texturus, The Story of Ray uh, Biba, GOG, Ghostwire Tokyo, Epic uh, Games, uh, 13 days left. See, Doom has 29 days left. Uh, Golden Light has 33. Uh, the Texas has 30, uh, 33. Ghostwire Tokyo has 13. Monster Prom 2, Monster Camp, 26 days left. Uh, the Coma Vicious Sister, Deluxe Edition, 26 days left. Grund, 19 days left. 
hundred days, twelve days left. And this is on Amazon. Uh, grunting hundred days. And let's see, uh, Shotgun, Shotgun King, the final checkmate. Amazon, five days left. Dexter Stardust Adventure in other in outer space. Amazon, five days left. So with this list, let's see, Doom. That's on the God, 29 days. And Golden Light, Epic Games, 33 days. The Texturist is on God, 33 days. Ghostwire, Tokyo, Epic Games, 13 days left. Uh, Monst uh, Monster Prom 2, that's on God, 26 days. Uh, the Coma Vicious Sisters, uh, Deluxe Edition, that's on God. Grund and 100 Days is on Amazon. Uh, Shotgun King is on Amazon. And Dex Dexter Stardust. On Amazon, and that's 19 days, 12 days, 5 days, 5 days. <laughs> yeah, you can use Heroic or, or Lutris uh, Launcher. So, there, you guys are covered. You guys are covered now. What else I got here? Anything else? Okay, I already covered the Lutris. Yeah, I already covered Lutris earlier. <laughs> Lutris Game Manager for yeah, I covered this. Let me see what gaming on Linux talks set up says here. Hmm. Went a little deeper. Okay, here's what they added. Okay, for Lutris. Uh, adds a Steam account, switch or handle multiple Steam accounts on the same device device. Add user defined tags category. Group every API calls for runtime updates in a single one. Single a single one. Download appropriate DXVK and VKD three D versions based on the available GPU PCIDs, EA app integration, your origin games, and save can be manually imported from your origin prefix. Add integration with SCUM local library. Download Wine GE updates when Lutris starts. Group GOG and Amazon download in a single progress bar. Fix blank login windows online service such as GOG or EGS. Add support for Name files, name fields, Yuzu and Xmu now use an APPL, a, uh, use an app image. Hmm. Uh, experimental support for Flatpak provides runners. Header bar search for configuration support option. Support for game score 3.12. Missing game show an additional badge. Add missing dependency on Python 3 space GI space. C-A-I-R-O for a DBN package. And, yeah, that's that for Lutris. So, yeah. <clears throat> you guys are covered. Deals, games, update. The Linux and Steam deck way. So, yeah, you got some games and, um, yeah, that should hold you for now until I find something else. <laughs> but I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on with the Steam deck or uh, Linux. Uh, gaming, laptop and desktop. So yeah, um, you know, the Linux, the Linux commute, Linux developers are just busy, man. So updates are like this coming in, and then when you see it, you got to jump, you know, jump on it, you know. So yeah, because there's plenty, plenty of Linux users out there. So yeah, uh, okay, Ubuntu now has a update for uh, for Plasma KDE. So yeah, um, uh, two five point two seven. So yeah, try that out. So yeah, um, but other than that, man, um, I try to keep you guys up to date on what's going on with the Steam Deck or Linux. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the, the developers they're busy. They're you know, updates coming from all angles, you know. So yeah, and you know, people are you know play the Steam the Steam Deck and um, Linux community. Linux the Steam Deck user base is pretty big. Linux gaming community is pretty big. So. You know, they, you know, they want to know what's going on, what kind of updates they're getting. So, I try to keep you guys up to date, up to date on that, whenever I, whenever I find something. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I always, I always leave the links and stuff. So, yeah. Keep you guys up to date. But other than that, have fun gaming on the Steam Deck or Linux desktop. Yeah. But if anything comes up, I'll let you know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> nice talking to you people again. Chris, through the Star Wars and Star Trek planet. Poor Dark Side. Oh, God.
Peace.